Hello, my beautiful people. You are welcome once again to Bosse Peculiar Kitchen. Today, we are going to cook a special Nigerian chicken stew. Fabulous chicken stew. This stew can be used to eat rice, yam, bread, and any swallow. Our chicken is already washed, prepared, put in the pot, and the onion is getting to it right now. We are going to add the necessary spices. We have the ginger already grated, the garlic is crushed already, we have the thyme, I'm going to add cinnamon, curry and parsley flakes as my own spices for this chicken stew. Let's add them one by one. Mix them together. Mix the chicken. Then add salt. Cover and let it boil for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, you can see the chicken has oozed out some juices. Then we we'll add a little water. Add the chicken bouillon. Cover it up and boil for 30 minutes because the chicken is a tough one. After 30 minutes, we are going to transfer it to our oven tray and just grill it a few minutes. Then get the pot for the stew. We are using palm oil and uh, clear vegetable oil. Palm oil, three tablespoon. I mean, kitchen spoon. Then the vegetable oil, three kitchen spoon, full. It's going to be 50-50 oil. If you don't wish to use palm oil, you can use your pure vegetable oil for this chicken stew. I want the aroma of the palm oil in the stew. When the oil is a little bit hot, add the cut onions city for about three minutes I 
add the curry then it's ready for the blended pepper for the stew in this pepper we have the tomatoes we have the tatashi which is the red big bell pepper we have onions we have the green pepper then you can add the spring onions though there is no spring onions in this one then we have the scotch bonnet pepper which is atarodo this is a Nigerian chicken stew our chicken is doing well in the oven but we have to turn it around so that it will grill around together so we are turning it to the other side before putting it back inside the oven Yes, chicken is ready, well grilled. Now check the pepper. In the making of this Nigerian chicken stew, you have to fry all the mixture together you fry and fry and fry until the oil starts sipping on top of the tomato pepper mixture the oil is coming out little by little don't forget to subscribe please subscribe to my channel the oil is coming up the more the oil comes up on top of the tomato mixture the better evidence of being well fried at this stage just pour in the stock of the chicken Add little seasoning to spice it up with salt then check it and make sure they are in correct taste cover again and let it simmer for five minutes the oil is coming out fine coming on fine continue to check continue to stir and the more you fry the more the oil comes up evidence of being well fried sometimes the pot can be messy as you are frying the pepper so take care of it in this my chicken stew i just want to add this scent leaf called the fire the aroma blended with the tomato and pepper mixture is on point that is why i call it fabulous chicken stew try it if you have that leaf in your compound just cut through as I am doing now drop it in the stew and let it cook with it for some time now the stew is well fried we are going to add the chicken that has been grilled the chicken will not be soft because it has been grilled stew is coming up almost ready we are there ready 
the preparation will take like one hour before everything is ready yes the oil is coming up that's the evidence that the stew is okay we are going to dish it out now our fabulous Nigerian chicken stew is ready Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like and comment down below. The subscription button is down below, comment on it. After pressing the subscription button down below, write your comments about our chicken stew. If you watch to this level, thanks for watching. Fabulous chicken stew is ready for rice and any food. Bye bye.